Howdy do to y'all. Morning rain outside. The Cabin and I are on Salt Spring Island. It's maybe like 12.30 right now. Uh, we caught the 11 ferry. It's only a 30 minute ferry from Victoria. And we're just cruising around and we're gonna go explore a bit more. It's pouring rain, so. I mean, we've got our gear, so we're not getting super wet, but. And then we're gonna go find a camp spot. And tomorrow it's supposed to be beautiful. We're gonna do a couple hikes and just explore and enjoy and I don't have cell service. It's fucking phenomenal. And I thought I'd bring you along with me. So that's what's happening. We love a good spontaneous adventure. I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. I should be the last to know we're all in this. I stand Show me where the ending goes Honest, honestly don't I should be the last to know beautiful morning ever we're having some coffee I'm about to make some oatmeal and the sun feels so amazing it was not the best weather yesterday in between all those nice shots I showed you it was actually like pouring rain and hailing and stuff so we're really looking forward to having a nice day going on some hikes and just exploring a little bit more <music> morning I am it's like maybe 11 o'clock I have just been sitting on my sofa writing emails and catching up on things we got back from um, camping at around like 5 o'clock yesterday and I was pretty tired so I just like hung out I still haven't um, unpacked all my things so I'm gonna do that with y'all because a lot of people have been asking me about like my camping essentials I have done like a what's in my bag camping edition. So you can check that out. I'll put a little card for it, but I thought I would just pull out a couple things that I normally bring. 
uh, that make my life a little bit easier. But honestly, when I'm camping, I think if you are someone who camps often or often does like hike in camp, you usually wear the clothes you're gonna wear for the rest of the stay. I don't really change. Um, so it's not super exciting, but I will share with you some pieces that I think are um, quote unquote essential to me when I'm camping. Uh, but yeah, it was really, really nice to get away, to reset. I've been really uh, feeling a bit stressed and anxious recently. Uh, I just did some emails, like I said, and content, and I think I'm gonna go for a, a little bit of a walk to break up my day, and then I'll come back and like clean and show you my camping stuff. But I just wanted to check in. So happy you're here. And yeah. Okay, hi. I've been feeling really wonky all day or just not feeling super happy. Um, there's so many injustices happening in the world right now. And I think today I've spent a lot of time just thinking about the space that I occupy and how I use my space and how I am moving and speaking in my space and this is something I think all white people need to be doing on a near constant basis. Make sure that I am um, making space for others to feel safe, ensure that everyone gets to have the same experience that I get to and feel the same safety levels that I get to experience and to give back as much as I can. Um, it never feels like enough. I'm now gonna show you some of my camping gear. Uh, I just, I still haven't unpacked stuff. I just did some dishes. I've been very slow moving today and slow to get things done. Um, just been kind of living in my head today. So uh, first thing I wanna talk about is, I think I showed this in my, uh, what's in my bag, the camping bag. Really great to have a good aluminum plate. I use this way more than I would have ever thought. Um, and to go along with that, a cup. I drink out of this, I eat out of this plate and cup necessary uh, I've gone a long time without the plate but now that I have it I really enjoy having it uh, I also use one of those like plastic sporks but I can't seem to find mine um, so clearly not that essential to me it's probably in my car somewhere I don't know um, as far as camping gear goes I'm not too sure what everyone was curious to see if it was like clothing or whatever but I typically will go camping with a pair of jeans a pair of leggings, like workout leggings. Sorry, this is still... I usually go with a pair of leggings and then a pair of like thicker sweatpants to sleep in. So that's what I did this time. I also brought my Everlane rain poncho. That was like my main rain jacket. I did also bring my Patagonia rain jacket, but a pair of jeans, I wore those there. This time I brought a fleece cause it was gonna be a little bit colder, but not too cold. Obviously winter camping, I'd bring like an actual big puffy parka jacket, but I didn't this time. Lots of socks and underwear, you never know. And then I brought rain pants because it was supposed to be rainy. I would recommend investing in rain pants. These are just from MEC. If you, especially if you live in the Pacific Northwest, obviously if it doesn't rain where you live, you don't need rain pants. But I think these are pretty essential living here. I have gone many years without them, but I really love them, so. I guess that's kind of optional depending on how wet you like to get. <laughs> um, here were my thick sweatpants I brought. These ones are just from TNA. That was about it. I wore a hoodie that you probably saw in my Instagram photos. Primarily my hoodie and this yellow fleece. Um, I like to keep it pretty simple. Uh, bring things that are light and are fairly um, insulated so they're going to keep me warm. Fleece is great for that. Fleece is not great for the rain so keep that in mind. But I usually bring some variation of like one outfit I know I'm going to be in most of the time and then leggings and sweatpants for sleeping or nighttime and then leggings for like hiking or whatever. Um, and that's it. Um, and then obviously my Patagonia rain jacket that gets really small so I always put that. And then my sleeping bag always lives at the bottom of my bag. Um, I have like a negative nine degree sleeping bag so super super warm. Definitely warmer than I need but I really love it because it means I get to like essentially sleep how I would sleep at home and I'm not cold. I just have a regular, I think mine is a 52 liter backpack. Uh, definitely recommend getting something like this if you're considering hiking or, or camping 
a lot more. Um, you definitely need this for like overnight uh, hikes or whatever. Um, some other essentials include, um, I always have a bottle opener, uh, a lighter, and then I usually always have, which is actually in my other bag, a Ziploc bag with matches. Definitely something you always need. Um, I always keep a pack of cards in here and dice and stuff like that. And then, what else we got? Obviously my headlamp, I think that's like pretty self-explanatory. I have this um, BioLite one, which I really like. It's uh, powered by USB, so you just charge it up and it has a counterweight, which is huge. I really don't like most um, headlamps because they're obviously super heavy on the front, but this one has a counterweight. So the back is actually a lot bigger. This is the battery. And then the, where the light is, is pretty um, small. This has an insane amount of lumens. It's really, really bright. It has like the red option too, which is what I use a lot when I'm at camp. So it's not like blinding people, but that's that. As far as like footwear and stuff goes, I usually wear Crocs. Um, Crocs are definitely my preferred shoe for camping, especially because a lot of the time it's like surf and camping. And so those are really easy to slip on, especially when you're wet. And then a pair of hiking boots. So usually I just bring like two pairs of shoes, something easy to slip on and just like move around in and then hiking boots for the rest of um, whatever I'm doing. And that's about it really. Um, again, I've already done like a full in-depth like what's in my camping bag video. So I don't really want to do the whole thing, but I would say those are mostly the things I bring. Aside from all that stuff, um, this is my favorite backpack for, that I use as like my purse. And I really love this actually. I got it at Value Village. A lot of my stuff is secondhand too. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get your camping gear going. But uh, this is a, has a, a bladder hold in it. It's just from New Balance. Again, I just got this at Value Village, which is a really nice find, but I also really enjoy using it as a purse. So um, this has like my hacky sack in it. Um, some leftover snacks, hand sanitizer, a film camera, and then this front part is where I keep like my wallet and all that sort of stuff. And then the back has the bladder hold and then it has the little um, spot for the tube to come up. And then I really, um, I don't know, I guess everyone's a little bit different. I really like having a backpack with a bladder hold. Um, I just use this um, two liter one. I got this at MEC. They are kind of expensive, but once you have it, you kind of have it for life. Um, as long as you're running like hot water through it sometimes to keep it clean, really handy to have, especially if you're hiking. But also oh, I just like this because you can hold a lot more water while you're camping. Cause a lot of times like the tap is far or whatever, and then you can always have it on you. Um, and it's a lot easier in my opinion to carry than like a big water bottle. I usually do bring a water bottle too, but I just like this setup. And yeah, that's everything. As far as like tent and that sort of stuff goes, Cab has all that stuff, so I use his stuff. Um, I would love to eventually, um, you know, invest in a tent, but they're very expensive, obviously, so um, I don't always bring that. And then we just use our Metulius, um, like, crash pad for climbing to sleep on, and that's really handy because it's, like, perfectly fits a two-person tent. That's about it. I have a camp stove with propane, um, but we both have those things, so if we're both going, only one of us obviously will bring stuff, but if I'm going with other people, I'll bring my, like, I have, like, a single burner um, that just takes, like, a propane, regular propane canister um, for cooking. And um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> um, that was helpful. If you want any other in-depth stuff, a lot of people ask me for like your recommendations and stuff like that, but I honestly don't, when I first started camping a lot more, like when I first moved to the island and started getting into stuff, I definitely just got a lot of secondhand stuff and wasn't super picky about brands or anything like that. And I don't think you need to either. If you're gonna be doing something a little bit more hardcore where you're having a lot more exposure, like, um, doing like a three-day hike or something like that that's really when you want to invest in better stuff but for the most part the camp the kind of camping I'm doing at least is like there's still water facilities um, like obviously having a life straw or something like that is really cool but in a lot of places especially in BC it's not n completely necessary because I'm sure you're probably camping at a provincial park or somewhere that has a tap um, but like obviously a life straw would be cool but yeah, anyways, I could ramble on forever. I hope this was like helpful or gave you some insight into some things that 
I think are kind of essentials to me when I camp. And uh, yeah, this dog outside. <laughs> Love you lots. Again, thank you so much for being here. I think I sometimes get a complex about the fact that I'm like talking to nobody, but really I'm talking to all of you and you were all so amazing. And the comments you made on my last video, my last two videos have been so kind. And I always obviously get, as I'm sure a lot of creators get pretty anxious posting things because not that I, I don't, um, I'm not open to criticism. I think that's in incredibly important, especially as someone who's, you know, putting things out there. Um, but it obviously is a little bit hard when it's your stuff and it's you and everyone gets to see it. And obviously that's my choice, but it always is a little bit anxiety provoking. So it's always really, um, really boost my confidence when you enjoy my content and you leave really nice comments and send me DMs and all that sort of stuff. So I'm, I'm seriously internally grateful. Um, I have been doing this for so many years and I don't see myself stopping anytime soon, even though this isn't like a, like I don't have a huge following. I have a really incredible following and that's what kind of keeps me going. So thank you, love you, we'll chat later. Good morning, everyone. I'm probably gonna end up the vlog here, but I wanted to quickly show you a lot of people had sent me DMs or comments or something. You got in touch for sure. Uh, to do like what makeup I do when I wear my mask to work. And this is like so simple and I'm about to go to work. So I thought I would just film it now and then end off this little vlogaroo but also i like never froth my oh you can't even see it i never froth my milk but my coffee looks friggin fancy today so all i do in the morning cleanse my face toner essence moisturizer sunscreen so that's what's on my face now and then i use when i'm going to work i've been using the just glossier stretch concealer i have mine in g uh it doesn't say anymore I rubbed off i apologize it's the medium one um and i just conceal my forehead a bit because i get some like redness here so i conceal that the forehead is the star of the show these days ladies and gents Next, I fill in my eyebrows. I've been using the same product for uh, over 10 years, like since before I graduated high school. This is the MAC Omega Eyeshadow, and I just use this little angled brush to fill them in. I'll probably have to do this off camera because I need a better mirror using my phone. Brows done. Next, I go in, oh shit, I don't have that product with me. Okay, I have to go grab it. Okay, next I'm going in with my Kozas um, concealer. And number three, this is definitely too dark for me. Um, so I'm waiting for the Sephora sale to order a different, like a lighter shade. And the cap on it cracked. And so every time I close it, a bunch of concealer comes out, which is less than ideal. I run some eyebrow gel, which is AKA clear mascara from Great Lash. Um, this is actually a really good eyebrow gel if you're looking for one. I just have to like wipe off the uh, excess, but keeps my eyebrows in place all day. So eyebrow gel and then mascara. I've been using the Bite Beauty um, Upswing mascara. And normally I'm not like a huge, like crazy lash girl, but because again, this is the only makeup I'm wearing, I kind of like for it to be a little bit more you know, show offy. And that's it, ladies and gents. So I literally don't wear any makeup there down. There's no point. I'm gonna get acne if I do. So that's it. It looks a little silly, obviously, because I have mascara on, but no like anything else, but it is what it is. I don't want to get pimples while I'm at work. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I enjoyed filming this vlog. I love you lots. I'll see you in the next one.